Hello Brent Noel, welcome back. Hope you all had a great holiday. So now it's time for Ready to Cook. And today I'm doing a really, really simple one again. I'm going to do cheese and ham puff pastry wheels. So we need a flat baking tray and possibly a chopping board if you're going to chop your ham. You don't really have to, you can just tear it. A rolling pin and a cheese grater and our ingredients are some ready rolled puff pastry, oops, some ham and some cheese and then we've got some pizza topping base which is the tomato base. So are we ready to cook? Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is grease my tin. You can use greaseproof paper or you can use your fingers. Make sure you grease all of the tin. There we go. That's that ready. Okay. Next, I'm going to put a bit of flour on the table. And take my pastry. Now, this is just roll pastry. But you can get this or you can get... Tesco's own, you can get Sainsbury's own, you can get Aldi's own, and it's called Ready Rolls Puff Pastry. And it comes in a block like this. And we're only going to use half of this. So, we've now got a rectangle shape, and we need a rolling pin. And we're going to roll our rolling pin in the flour. And then gently, with very little pressure, we're going to roll out our pastry. Trying to keep the rectangle shape. If you don't want to do cheese and ham, or if you're a vegetarian, you can do a mixture of onions, peppers, mushrooms, and just fry them off gently. And then you'll see when I've done this, how it goes in the middle of it. So that's about perfect. Okay, next we need our pizza base. These are all available in the supermarkets and this was only 30p. Just add a bit on and then spread it over, making sure you leave a little gap at the edge there. Okay, there we go, looks nicely spread and then I said it was easy, we've got our ham. All I'm going to do is rip it up and cover the tomato paste with it. You can cut your ham if you want to but I don't really see the point. Okay, so there we have our ham all over it. Next, we've got our cheese. You can grate the cheese or you can buy it ready grated. Obviously it's cheaper to buy a block of cheese and grate it yourselves. And we're just gonna cover all of the ham with the cheese, like so. there we are. Now next we need something to seal the pastry. We would normally use an egg but if you haven't got an egg you can just use milk. And go along the edges. And then this is the difficult bit. You've got to get this bit right. We're going to roll it. And you've got to make sure it's quite tight so maybe you'll need a bit of help here. Can you see that I'm folding it over itself? So it ends up like looking like a big sausage roll. Like so. There we go. Okay, press it nice and firm. And then we're just going to cut it into shape. So. 
I would do about five centimeters for each size. Usually you get about 10. Okay, then we take our tray and we literally put them on their side like that. Building up a circle. Press it all down and there's your pastry wheel. Give it a little brush with the glaze just to make it look pretty when it comes out of the oven. There we go and it's all ready for the oven. So now it's going to go into a hot oven of about 200 degrees which is gas mark about six. So, get our oven gloves and we take it over to the oven. So, after cooking for about 15 minutes, maybe 20, it depends, there's our finished pinwheel. There we go. And you can just take a bit off like that and have a try. Mm. Yes, absolutely delicious. See you next time.